Another developing story from Goldman Sachs. Uh, they're poised to pay more than $2 billion to settle the 1MDB probe. Sources tell Bloomberg it's reached a long-awaited pact with the U.S. Justice Department. The deal will let the Wall Street lender avoid a U.S. criminal conviction. And the settlement is broadly in line that, with estimates and could be announced in the next few days. Let's uh, talk to Danny Berger about this. Danny, where does this leave Goldman Sachs' total tally of fines for its involvement in this scandal? What are the numbers shaping up to be? Yusuf, so far, Goldman looks poised to pay about $5 billion uh, from their various fines from different agencies. Uh, this is really the culmination of years of investigations and negotiations. You'll remember the initial scandal took place in 2012 and 2013 when Goldman raised about $6.5 billion for what at the time was supposed to be a sovereign wealth fund for Malaysia, which, of course, then allegedly saw siphoned off by people close to the prime minister at the time for reportedly things like setting up the production company that would go on to make Wolf of Wall Street. So this U.S. Justice Department fine comes on the heels of a July fine from Malaysia, about $2.5 billion from their part. And then in September, Malaysia also drops the criminal uh, convictions as well, Yusuf. Yeah, I mean, this would definitely help uh, analysts who are just trying to get a little bit of clarity around the size of these fines. And at the end of the day, it, it may not even be the end of it all, right, in terms of the possibility of more fines. Yeah, spot on, Yusuf. I mean, the more fines, they might come from Singapore, for example. Authorities there, uh, people familiar, tell Bloomberg that they're looking at, at possible fines as well to place on Goldman Sachs. They could also issue a warning with conditions, conditions that if Goldman breaches uh, could face possible charges as well. But, but again, as you mentioned, Yusuf, this has long been known that Goldman would have to pay up for this. It's likely long been priced into their shares as well. So getting more of a a grip on what the final tally will be certainly helps remove some of the uncertainty uh, about the fallout from their involvement in the scandal.